What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over how to make a sword deal damage to NPCs in Roblox Studio. A few of you guys have been asking for this, so I'm going to go ahead and do this today. Anyways guys, before this video starts, this tutorial is assuming that you already have a working sword for my sword tutorial. You can go ahead and watch that with the card right here or in the description below. Anyways, let's get right into this. So in order to start, there are a few things we can do. The first thing is go into the avatar tab, open up the rig builder, and then insert a new rig like this. This could be our dummy that we want to be able to attack with the sword, or we can go ahead and go to the home tab, open up the toolbox, search in the plugins with this little drop down menu right here for load character light, install this, and then upload our character to Roblox Studio. Or we can go ahead and use any custom rig that we have that has a humanoid. As for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a dummy, but this does work with anything that has a humanoid and is properly rigged. In order to start, we need to go inside of our dummy right here, click on the plus icon to the right of that, and then search for a bool value. Now, this is basically short for a boolean value. It is basically true or false. Right now, it's set to false, but you can set this to either true or or false. Now I've got this value inside of our dummy. We can click on it and name it to MPC. I'm just going to use mine all capitals that way I can keep track of it and find it easier inside of our script. Anyways we can close off the dummy right now and go into our sword script. My sword is currently in the starter pack so I'm going to open that up and go into my sword and open up this script. So this is my script right here that we used in the sword tutorial. We're going to be changing this up a bit today. Basically, I'm going to get rid of this function down here and start it up from scratch. So in order to start, we've got this tool right here, which is the script.parent. So it's the tool that is our sword. And now we're going to say tool, which is our script.parent. I'm going to grab the handle of the sword, which is necessary for the tool in, or in order for us to wield it. And then I'm going to go down one more to find the blade of the sword, which is my little blade right down here that's actually going to be doing the damage to the player. So now we can add a dot touched, connect a function to that, and this function is going to take the parameters of hit. Now we can go ahead and say if hit.parent.parent .parent, find first child quotation marks mpc and our debounce equals equals to true, then we can say hit.parent dot parent wait for child humanoid dot health minus equals however much health you want i'm going to do three for mine so this is our script will allow us to hit an npc or anything that has a humanoid with our npc value inside of it this first line is getting our blade and seeing if it is touched if it is touched we're calling a function with the parameter of hit this line right here is checking that if whatever we hit had that NPC value inside of it and our debounce is set to true, then we're going to go ahead and deal the damage to whatever we hit's humanoid, if that makes sense. And we can test this out by clicking on play. So one thing I did forget about is this is not going to work with a dummy, unfortunately, so we are going to have to use Already Pro's character loader light, load character light I mean. If you click on this and install it, Roblox will automatically install the plugin. You can exile the toolbox now, open up your plugins tab, and then go over to your now load character easy or light plugin. Now when you click on this, a little window will open up. This is where you can load any character you want. I recommend using your own, otherwise you can use somebody else's. My name is Rusty Silly Band, so I'm going to do that. And now you can either choose to spawn an R6 version of yourself or an R15 version of yourself. I'm personally going to use R15. So now that my R15 character is here in the workspace, this is my NPC. To be honest, I do not exactly know why Load Character Pro's plugin works better than the Rig Builder. The only thing I can think of really is that since it's a dummy and it's only meant for animating really, it can't really be used for this type of scripting things. Anyways, now we've got our brand new NPC. We can click on the plus icon once again, add in our bool value, and then rename this to NPC. Just like this. Now I've got our NPC set up, we can click on play once again and test this out. When I wield my sword and attack this dummy, you can see it will now be doing damage to the player, not the player, but the NPC here, because whatever we're attacking has the NPC value inside of it. I'm going to do a simple test to make sure that this won't hit a player, because that's not what we want with this. So joining in with my sword, you can see when I attack the player, I can't do any damage to the player, because that player doesn't have our NPC value inside of it. However, when I go ahead and attack this NPC, you can see I'm now doing damage to that NPC. 
So this is something incredibly cool to learn, incredibly cool to find out. I'm going to do one more thing that you guys would probably want to know is how to make a sword attack the NPC and the player, just in case you want to know how to do that. So now in case you're wondering how to make your sword deal damage to either NPC or the player, we need to go inside of our sword once again and change the script up a little bit. So now instead of finding the NPC value, we're going to say if hit dot parent dot parent find first child humanoid and our debounce equals equals to true then we can go ahead and find hit dot parent dot parent wait for child i mean to say not for find first child humanoid with a capital h and then dot help minus equals to whatever you want once again this is basically the same as the other script but instead of just finding the npc value it's finding if whatever we're hitting has a humanoid inside of it so this can be a player or our npc let's go ahead and test this out so as you can see joining in when i attack the player i'm dealing damage to them but when i go ahead and attack the npc i'm also doing damage to them now so it's whatever you want to do with it have fun with this, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below your ideas, thoughts, or even imaginations or things you can do with this. Goodbye guys.